Yeah, yeah that, makes, that makes loads of sense. And obviously, you were just talking there about Palace coming at the end of the season for you. Steve, Steve Koppel, um, you know, he's yep. done, done really well in the game. Obviously, not really around anymore. But, you know, the likes of Lombardo, Bruce Dyer sure. in that change. You know, sure. complete change of scene. Um, so, stepping from Brentford, no disrespect, but to a top division team like yeah, Palace, sure. what was that like? Oh, I mean, again, like you said, Tilly and Obardo, Bruce Dyer. I mean, again, um, Matt Janssen, who was an up-and-coming player. Um, ah, ah, some of the players. Um, it, it was just, it was walking into the changing room. Uh, I mean, Clinton Morrison um, was coming through in the YTS at that point. Uh, Leon McKenzie was coming through too, so they were under me. What a player. Which, which is weird, um, because they're my friends now, but um, they were coming underneath me. I mean, Clinton Morrison was my boot boy. He was the worst boot boy in the world, but <laughs> he, <laughs> um, a good goal scorer, great player for Crystal Palace. I mean, he went on to play for certain other teams, but um, yeah, um, we had a, a good side. <laughs> Again, I went in there, done really well. We got relegated. I scored some great goals for Crystal Palace. God, went Anfield as well, didn't you? Anfield, yeah. Um, Anfield, Bolton. Key um, goals. Sorry? Key goals. Key goals, yeah. Key goals. Well, key goals in the sense that they were good within my career, but it didn't keep us up. But... Um, there were key goals where I could uh, experience um, scoring at Anfield, Bolton, and uh, West. Oh, sorry, West Ham at home, and scoring against some um, uh, great players too, and just experiencing that. Um, I then got called up for the under twenty ones. Um, I had a hernia at that uh, in during the season. Came back and. Um, the manager that came in um, after the season, we came back, brought in uh, a, a load of players, hence why I went to Portville. Was that Venables? Venables, yeah. And um, obviously, after the Euro 96, and the Venables, not, not been a hero as such, because we didn't win it, but you know he was a, a, a big figure in England at that point. Were you excited when he came in? Yeah, a, a, a good manager, a good um, coach. Um, it didn't go quite well. Um, I thought that I was going to uh, roll on and, and do well and stay at Palace. Um, but he, but before he came into Palace, he was the Australian manager. Yeah. Yeah. And so he brought in a load of Australian players. Um, I mean, I don't want to say why it all, why he done it, but yeah, you kind of, yeah, he, I don't know whether it's for, I don't know, I don't want to say, but he, but yeah, he brought in a lot of Australian players, which shouldn't have been there, um, and it, for me, destroyed um, what I was focusing on and where I was going. I spent the next eight months playing reserve football after getting called up to the under-21s and doing really well for Crystal Palace. So it was frustrating for me. So, I listen, good manager, good players from Australia that he brought in, but um, I don't think it was um, the right way to go. And obviously just with that, Marcus, because when you see Venables and you saw him with Gaza and there's all the montages of him with his arm around Gaza and you think to yourself, that guy is a man-manager and you've You've experienced some serious man managers in your in your career, which we'll get on to. But did Venables ever turn around to you and say, "Look, Marcus, this isn't working out," or was it just sort of? We'll no, to- I think I, I think it was it was it was quite. Um, I was young. Um, I think at that transition, I think he was coming back from Australia. Uh, I think he came off of being an England manager to go into Australia. Um, Gaza, that was you know before Australia. I, again, I don't want to say too much, but he came back and um, he came into Crystal Palace and, and tried to um, do something special with the 
um, international players, Australian players that he worked with um, to um, get Palace back on stable and stuff. But I, it, it, for me, it didn't work. Um, hence why I had to move on. But um, Ven- he was, he is and still is, for me, uh, a great manager. Um, he man manages players. He talks to players. Hence why you're saying about Gaza. I mean, uh, the rest of the players that he speaks to. I think he's that sort of manager that speaks to them and and and, and gets them to play the best football. But I didn't see that from him at that that age. No. Uh, 